Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we are going to do our December and probably January sales. Uh, so it is December the 3rd as you can see in the upper right hand corner and so we're going to sell a few things in December. Uh, as it turns out silage is actually uh, according to the prices highest now um, as opposed to January. Um, and the animal dealer is really the only place we can sell it to because we own all these other places. Uh, but 194 is a pretty good price. It is dropping, however. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is if we look here in Silage Factory 2, Silage Factory 1 is chocked full of grass and silage, but this is the one that feeds our biogas plant. Um, so we're just going to uh sell from silage factory too so we've got you know it's full of silage plus it's got a little bit more grass to process even after this is done so i think what we'll do is we'll sell this silage this month and then in january the price will still be good in january and we'll um we'll sell the rest of this in addition to that we have some let's see here we're gonna sell um, where is it? Flour. Uh, so flour is highest in December. We've got quite a bit of flour over at the mill. For some reason, it's not distributing over to the warehouse, but, you know, we'll just go get it at the mill. And we're going to sell bread. And we're going to probably sell one to two loads of straw. I don't want to sell too much straw because, you know, we need that for our larger cattle barn, but we have over a million liters. So we'll, we'll, sell a little bit of that too because it's always uh seems to be highest in december um and then we're going to wait till january for the wood chips well the thing is though is that i kind of need my tippers for the silage and they're full of the wood chips right now uh 557 is the high price there Gold crest will pay 606, but that would mean we'd have to load it into the train. Um Well, I guess the other thing we could do is just wait till January. The silage price is still gonna be really good in January. In fact, it usually is the best in January. 557. I'd have to, okay, so let me think about this. I'd have to dump everything out over by the train and then re-scoop it back up into the train for a price of 606 per thousand liters. Mm, that wouldn't take that long to do. I'm just not sure if it's worth my time, though. Hmm. Because, well, it boils down to this. If we want to sell the silage this month, we've got to get these these trailers emptied out because I need them, these tippers. And they're all full of wood chips. Um, or we wait till January when the price is going to be good on, still good on silage, still good on wood chips. The only problem, though, is that I'm my production has halted in this factory because... It's full, so it can't finish processing the rest of that. We're going to sell bread and flour regardless this month, so let's dig actually get that out of the way first. So all the bread should be here in the warehouse. And we want to select bread. We want to change the output mode to spawning. I don't believe I have any bread in the bakery directly. It should all be over here. Yeah, so it's sitting there all over here. Okay, so let's get this loaded up. Who's going to give us the best price on bread? Looks like Mama Joe's Mini Mart has the best price on bread. Okay. 
$51,418. Nice. Okay, let's go over to our grain mill and get the flour out of there because the bakery is chocked full of flour, so it's fine. Okay, that's all it's going to let me grab for now. So, flour. Let's see, 703, 704. That's us. So, it looks like Mama Joe's fast food restaurant has the best price on flour. Let's go sell that over there. All right, $10,554 for the first load. And another 7,000. So we made a little over $17,000 off of our excess flour. Not bad. Okay, that brings us up to $320,423. Um, we're going to sell a load or two of straw for sure. So let's actually do that next before I decide what I'm going to do about the wood chips and the silage. Uh, but we're, I'm going to want the big, uh, the big trailers in the, the man truck for that. So we'll just put this back away for now. Okay, so let's think about this. Um, I think I'm only going to sell one full load for now. Um, I just want to, you know, we have a... a our, our cow barn is twice as large now, so that means we're doubling our straw consumption from before. You know what, though? I mean, we're going to have two giant wheat fields that we're going to harvest in July. Yeah, maybe we'll do maybe we'll do two full loads of straw then. Okay, so we'll go there, go there, and I'll see what it what it looks like you know after we have two full loads mm. yeah I don't I don't know well here let's get let's sell this load first uh, where are we taking this We are doing straw. It's probably going to go to animal dealers, my guess, but. Yeah, animal dealer. Okay. Let's go sell this first load there, and then we'll, we'll see where we're at. We can, I, th I think we can get away with selling two loads, because, again, we're going to have a big influx of straw in, in July. Okay, so we made about 15 grand ish off of that. Uh, let's go get another load. Okay, let's take a look at this. And sold bales. We made thirty thousand seven hundred sixteen dollars. Very good. That brings us up three hundred fifty one thousand one hundred and forty. Okay, so I'm gonna. What we're gonna do is we're gonna run over to the train station, and I'm just gonna consider the feasibility of dumping all the chips off on the ground and then loading them into the train. The actual work of doing that's not really going to take me that long to do, but it has. But I just want to see if there's a um, a good enough, you know, area to to do that, so I can dump them right next to the box car, basically, and then fill it right up. Oh, actually, hold on. Can I just? I might be able to just dump this right in the station, like I would with grain. It didn't even occur to me until just now.
Yes. This is the way to do it. All right, cool. All right, so what I'm going to do is go get the other two <coughs> trailers, excuse me, <coughs> the two Stroutman trailers that one of them is completely full and the other one is partially full. Get those dumped in here, and then when that's finished, I'll bring you guys back, and we will sell the wood chips to Goldcrest Valley. You know, we should um, actually get the silage selling going, because that's going to take several trips. So let's get that set up first before we finish with the wood chips. We can at least get this guy going, and then when the other trailers are empty, I can add them to the mix. All right, so we want to go to pick up and deliver. We want to do silage factory to load and animal dealer unload. We want silage and <clears throat> it looks like our route's okay. We might want to move these a little further away from that corner there. Yeah, that'll probably be okay. And otherwise, I think everything should be set up. So let's just start and see what it does. It's loading. Okay. Well, we'll let this guy get started with all that and we'll go finish up the wood chips. All right, let's get um, you going now on pick up and deliver. Silage factory to load. Animal dealer unload, silage. And I want to make sure, too, that our second silage factory is uh, yeah, it's processing the rest of the grass that's in there now that it has room. Oh, come on, you stupid camera. Okay, cool. Um, now, let's jump in the New Holland because the fence too wide to fit through the loading area of our silage factory with those tires on it. And we'll dump off the final Stroutman trailer of chips and then get this one going also on Holland silage. So yeah, this is actually working out quite well. I, I completely forgot I could just dump the chips. I thought I was going to have to put them on the ground and reload them again with the bucket. But that is not the case. I don't know how many of you are also watching my Silver Run Forest series, but in that series, I used a mod called the Tree Devourer. And um, it basically, if you haven't seen it, it shreds the trees, but it also generates wood chips that you can then load right into a trailer so if we do another massive wood clearing job like we did you know for all this stuff I'm definitely going to use that because it was worked way better than um, you know doing it by hand basically okay so this is the last of this Okay, let's just park here for a moment and jump in the train and get these wood chips sold. Okay, 
Okay, so we have to get underneath here. Oh, 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 oh. We could probably put chips in the the other trailer too if, if we can't fit them all in here. Oh, you stupid camera. Such a pain in the butt, man. Okay. So we have 1,000, uh, 129,873 wood chips. There we go. Ah, <laughs> sorry. I'm not doing that. It's the camera. Uh, it looks like we'll probably be able to get them all in here. If not, like I said, I'm pretty sure we can put them in the front trailer. Or the, uh, yeah, the front trailer. Two. That is a lot of wood chips, man. Okay, we got 120,000 liters in there. So let's see if we can put the remainder in the in here. Another 9,800 liters. Yep, looks like they're going in there. Okay, fantastic. All right, so there we go. Let's see how much money we make. $78,905 from the wood chips. That's pretty good. Not bad money at all. All right, that brings us up to $462,401 at the moment. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the New Holland also hauling silage, and then I'll probably jump in the Fint and hook up one of my 40,000-liter Flegel trailers and, and just help them do that. Uh, because I can back the fence trailer up into the loading area without having to take it through, you know, with the double wheels. On second thought, I'm just going to take these tires off of here. It won't cost us anything. And we can put them back on later. No reason not to, man. Customize. Let's go back to... Standard wheels, see it doesn't cost anything. And we'll just store our spare tires in the garage here until we need to put them back on later. Uh, the other thing too, I got to thinking is we might as well, um, I'm just trying to think if I wanna at least another cramp trailer. The problem with that though is then I'm gonna also need Can my pickup truck attach to a cramp trailer? I can't remember if it can or not. If it can, I think I tried that once before, but I don't remember what the outcome was. Because you know we're gonna be able to haul almost another twenty thousand liters per load with that trailer than we will with the Flegel. So let's Let's just see what kind of money we're looking at. So if we go here and go to here, trailers, to lease this trailer here. Yeah, see, that's almost 60,000 liters. Oh, this one has, yeah, but this one can't haul silage. It's too bad because that one has, <laughs> 75,000 liters. Okay, so to lease this, it's going to cost us $4,800. And yeah, I think the pickup can work with this because the pin's not too far back. I'm I'm pretty sure I did that before. I just like I said I don't remember. So that's going to be worth it because again I I, I can haul another twenty thousand more liters per load with this. So we're going to do it. Let's just lose it. Okay. So we'll just use the pickup truck, and I'll I'll just haul in this trailer. I'm not going to have another driver do it. 
four drivers going, um, which includes me, is should be plenty. There we go. Okay, so the other thing I was going to say to you guys is that... Um, I am also going to sell this silage. The reason being is because we have a full, uh, or almost a full thing of grass in here. Um, and if we needed it before, let's see, March. Yeah, March would be the first month that we can start doing hay again. Now, I did run out last year, though, which wasn't good. But we could potentially take silage from here if we had to. We have 150,000 liters in there, and that should be deactivated too, by the way, that we could fall back on. This is for the cows. Um, well, I'll tell you what. I'm not going to take all of the silage out of Silage Factory 1. I'll, I'll just I'll leave maybe 100,000 liters in there, but I'll take the rest. So between that, the grass it still has to do, and the extra that we have in the cow silo, I think we'll be able to get by until we do our hay in March. Okay, so anyway, that being said, I will bring you guys back when uh, we are finished, or just about finished, selling all the silage, and we'll see where our money is. I'm going to actually start working on this one while those guys work off the other one. All right, guys, I had ended up having to lease a dolly because uh, this was way too unstable in the pickup truck. I don't know why that didn't occur to me, but it didn't. So, um, yeah, so we're going to have to uh, finish this out with the dolly, but should be, shouldn't be a problem because um, I don't have to back up at all. So as long as we don't have to back up, this shouldn't be, um, make things much more difficult, but the pickup truck was just a little bit too unstable with the full load, and I ended up having to go so slow that I negated the advantage of being able to haul another 20,000 liters because it took me twice as long to get down there, you know, kind of thing. So, But this should work fine. Uh, the dolly was only about 400 bucks to lease it, whereas if I would have leased a, a truck to pull this around, that would have been another f almost $5,000. And we don't want to cut into our profits if we don't have to, any more than necessary. Okay, so yeah, let's keep hauling silage. We're currently up to 533, well, make that 543-ish, 44, 45-ish, once that current silage load is dropped off. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, we are now over a million dollars. We have 1,035,000. Um, and we're just about finished here with the silage sales. So let's, um, yeah, we have 16,000 left in this factory. And then um, I still have almost a million liters of grass still to be processed into silage. And that along with what's currently in the biogas plant, and as a fallback, uh, what we have in our cow silage um, silo, we, uh, we should be fine until our first hay cutting in March. Okay, so let's see here. I'm going to have actually have you deliver this. I've been using the AI off and on while I've been doing other things. So let's have this AI or this guy deliver the last load and then I need to stop the other guys. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, here, let's jump in here and stop you. And I'm just going to send you back to... 
Oh, why don't you go to field 50 load and just stage there for now? And then I'll take care of you when I get back. I'm going to do the same thing for these guys as well. Man, he just like gets right up in there, doesn't he? <laughs> no, no respect at all for personal space. Okay, so we'll pull him out. And I will have you go to, just go to the main silo and stage there. I need to actually create some parking spots for these guys. And I will do that once we get our big shed uh, set up, which is the plan for this year's big purchase too, by the way. Okay. And then we just need to jump in and cancel the JCB. And let's have you stage behind the other guy on field 50 load. And then when the Fent gets here, we will finish the Fent off ourselves. But yeah, look at that. 1,066,000 and still climbing. <laughs> Some pretty good money. Pretty doggone good money. Uh, so yeah, then uh, we're, we're going to move into January and do our January sales too, which is going to get us even more bank. And then my plan uh, is that we're going to buy ourselves... Uh, I still haven't fully decided yet, but... We're going to buy a big shed, we're going to buy a garage, and we're going to buy a, an actual repair shop. Um, and we're going to add more yard to our farm. So again, I need to, I need to give that a little bit more thought before, uh, before I, I actually do it, you know, in, in the episode, so. Where's the, the Fent at? Is he coming? Figured he'd be here by now. Is he stuck somewhere? Oh, he's still here. Uh, what? How did that happen? I don't know. <laughs> okay, whatever. He he just went back, back home. Or back to the load area. Okay, so let's get the lights on here and go get the rest of this silage delivered. Okay, that leaves us with one million seventy-one thousand eight hundred and fifty-two dollar mikihala. That is fantastic. So, uh, what's going to happen now is we are going to move right on into January and do our January sales. Uh, we, we've done the bulk of the sales now with the silage, so it won't take us too long. We just have a few products to sell, like, let's see, I think we have chocolate to sell and maybe some more dairy products, I can't remember, but it's not a lot. And then when that's done, we will be ready to start the next episode with the new farmyard and the new sheds and workshop and all of that. All right, guys, it is January the 3rd. I advanced all the way to the 3rd. And um, so we are going to sell chocolate and we're going to sell milk, but not chocolate milk separately. <laughs> Uh, and that's, I think that's about all we're going to actually sell. Um, so we are now up to $1.2 million with um, our biogas plant and our greenhouse money over the last couple of days. So let's get this started and we'll load up our chocolate, take that, I believe, to the grocery mart, and then we'll take our milk to a, the dairy. I believe those are the good prices. Okay. I don't think I sold chocolate. The price for chocolate gets high twice a year, and I don't think I sold it earlier, so we should have a pretty decent amount of chocolate in here. Oh, we are also going to sell our strawberries, too. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, but we're going to sell these automatically. I'm not going to deliver them manually because it's just too much work. So let's go to here, and we're just going to sell uh, or set these rather to uh selling 
and then at the top of the hour we should sell 39,237 liters of strawberries. That's 8.03 right now. So we'll, if once we get everything else done, I'll, I'll advance the time and then we can see how much we make off of those two. So chocolate is, that's all we have for chocolate? That doesn't seem right. Uh, let's set that to spawning. Is the chocolate sitting in the bakery? No. Oh, maybe I did sell the chocolate then. I don't know. That's a thousand liters. Hmm, I can't remember now. I was expecting to have a little bit more than that, but looks like that's what we got. Okay. Here, let me set that back to storing before we take off here. Yeah, I was expecting to have a little more than that, but... Okay, change output mode to storing. I don't think sugar is good right now. No, it's terrible, actually. July is the best time to sell sugar. Okay, and then, yeah, the only other thing is milk is, is at a very high right now, and... Yeah, the bakery is 786. It is going down, but we should be able to get that over there before that drops. Okay, so let's head over to the grocery store for the chocolate. That is where we're going, right? Chocolate? Yes. We'll sell this, and then we'll go load up our milk. I still have about 8,000 liters of milk in my dairy, so we're just going to sell everything that we have. Thirteen thousand. Okay. I must have sold chocolate earlier in the year because I was, like I said, I was really expecting to have more than that. I just don't remember doing it. Look at that. Thirty thousand nine hundred eighty-five liters. Almost filled our trailer all the way up. Nice. Very nice having that large cow barn now. Oh, you know what else I need to do? I need to take a load of slurry down to the biogas plant too. Wah! <laughs> Getting my pickup up on two wheels here. 24,379 dollars. Very nice. That is some good money for milk. Probably the most money we've made off of milk to date. Okay, that drops off our slurry. And that puts us up to um, almost 42,000 liters in the biogas plant. And that's going to turn back into money for us. Okay, let's see here. The last thing we're going to do is we want to take a look at our strawberry sales. So if we go back to the warehouse and what I'm going to do now is advance time for those to auto sell and we'll see how much money we make on that. Okay, it didn't um it didn't actually tell us but the money did go up because now the strawberries are back down. So, change output mode back to distributing actually cuz those distribute to the bakery. And I don't know exactly how much sold there, but nevertheless, we are at $1.264 million. That is possibly the most money, the most cash we've had on hand in this series. I, I don't know that for sure. I mean, we might have had more than that at one point, but usually, you know, what I then do is turn around and spend it all <laughs> to expand the farm. Um, we may not do that this time, though. Uh, we're going to spend what we need to spend to do what I want to do, but um, we not we won't necessarily use all of that money. As far as machinery goes, uh, the next big purchase that I want to get is I want to get a big tractor. I'm talking like big, big tractor. You know, 600 plus horse, quad wheels or tracks like that. Um, 
so oh there goes the feeder look at that he's doing his thing um so you know i'm going to keep a look out on the sale for that i probably won't buy something like that brand new because a tractor that big is not something i'm going to use all of the time but uh, i would use it when we do our big fields because i'm planning on after you know after we do this upgrade with the shed most of the rest of our our purchases are, is going to go into land and we're going to start buying more fields and having bigger fields and there is one more big production that i'm planning on getting to uh thus the reason why i want to get these big fields and that is going to be the cereal factory but to do cereal we need a lot of stuff we need honey which means I'm gonna buy a small field, put a bunch of flowers in it, and put a bunch of beehives in it. We need oats and we need corn, which means we're gonna buy some ginormous fields or make ginormous fields out of smaller ones and start growing corn and oats. And we also need raisins, but I don't know if we're gonna do grapes or not. I mean, I suppose we could. I don't have to think about that, but if I decide not to do grapes, we can buy grapes. We can just purchase grapes, or, or more specifically raisins, I should say, uh, for the cereal. So, you know, either way, we'll have that covered, too. All right, you guys. Well, that wraps up this episode. We are sitting pretty, man, with all that money. Looking good. Um, so I'm going to let you guys go here. And in the next episode, I'm, like I said, I'm going to spend a little bit of time off camera um, planning for exactly what sheds I want to get and how I want to set things up. But what I will tell you is that we're going to, we're basically going to con, um, divide or, or stop this field here. And this whole area is going to become the new yard. And, you know, we will lose some hay, but I mean, <laughs> we got so much hay. It's not, it's not going to be that big a deal. Um, and this is going to become the new yard and we're going to put some sheds in here and some workshops and a garage and some fun stuff like that. But again, I, I need to kind of figure out exactly how I want to do that. And so when I bring you guys back in the next episode, that is the plan. All right, you guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, you know what to do. Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.